Okay, just um, finally got a mate Sefty 707 up and running. Um, I've just stolen a mic uh, just to chuck on it um, for the moment. Uh, pretty sure it didn't come on the mic <laughs> to check that. Anyway, um, it was a boxer it came with. So, um, Adam White sent me an old 747 that's beyond repair and a 707 that I thought was getting close to beyond repair. And uh, I sort of said to him, I said, mate, <laughs> not as good as I used to be when I was younger. Um, but, uh, you know, um, I'm cheap, so I thought I'll have a bit of a play. And, uh, and yeah, look, um, got enough and running. Just come up the band a little bit. Just uh, one, two, three, four, five, one, two. One, two, three, four, five, one, two. I have to have a look at that meter. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Um, getting lots of current draw, which is good. One, two, three, four, five. Um, I know what is happening though. The antenna we're on is folding back a fair bit at the moment. Um, I just realized too, uh, the, uh, the shack is in, let me show you what the shack is. The shack is in disarray. Um, everything that you remember, as far as desks and everything, we're just doing a full reno in here. <laughs> I've got to finish this door frame off here, etc. So this, all this wiring, got to go. Um, but yeah, I've just realised we've just patched into an antenna that's not going to be fantastic. Uh, so we will get a bit of fold back, but we might have a quick look on a uh, a, a um, service monitor. Those things. Uh, <laughs> hang on, I'll just um, go back down 093. I suppose the boys are probably getting ready for the candle step there. I won't call in on them because I know the SWR is going to be shocking. I just realised that when I uh, just uh, hit that. But let's just put it onto um, the analyzer for a tick. Okay, let's see what happens when we put it into a, um, a decent load. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Oh, oh, oh yeah. There's lots of gain on that. Actually, probably too much. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. One, two. Um, yeah, hang on. We'll just um, turn that volume down on that because we're not on the right frequency. Um, so let's take it up to 7115. Let's have a little bit of a quick listen on sideband, why not? We can uh, actually do that, if I can get the BFO to be somewhat close. Actually, I might just set the BFO up first, um, off camera. Okay, so that's better. Let's have a look. Um, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, two. One, two, three, four, five. It's got lots of gain, I tell you. Loads. Anyway, that's, um, that's good. It is working. Um, but yes, um, uh, we may have to just set the ALC up on this a little bit. Uh, to be honest, I think it's uh, probably overdriving a little bit in the fact that someone set it up. Um, we had a few things with this one. Um, you can tell they've been repaired before. Often they've got bent, bent chassis on the side here. Um, one of the common tricks was people used to be too lazy to um, uh, to pull the things to bits. So they'd bend the side chassis of the FT707 to get into all the power and relay and regulator board area, etc. Um, which... Um, so, uh, and the other thing we noticed initially was, look at all the screws, all been out before. You know, it's, someone's had a real good look at this at some stage, but anyway, what do you do? They're, you know, 40 year old radio. So I suppose it's not uncommon to see they've had a bit of, uh, bit of a go. Um, let's just put a bit of signal into it with, uh, dot, 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 there. Okay, so it's receiving as we found before quite nicely, but let's find out how well. That's uh, 0.5 a microvolt and it's, Hearing beautiful, still hearing at 0.1, but 0.5, nice and noise free. So pretty happy with that, that's that's good. Um, that's our sort of test that we're kind of happy with. Uh, all right, let's just go back on antenna and have a little listen. Now once again, just on a bit of wire, so um, look at the signal though. Not bad off the wire, <laughs> but um, yeah. No, that's that's working a lot better. A lot of hours on this thing. Just, I tell you what. Sometimes tracing these voltage problems, they really can be a pain in the butt. And you've got to question whether they're worth doing. They are, but they're not. Um, commercially, they wouldn't be. Let's turn that down a bit. Um, but um, you know what? To see the old girls still going is a good thing. So. Um, I um, I think I actually sent an email the other day about this one saying, don't know, it's it's 
had such a voltage issue that I don't know whether I'm, you know, I'm, I'm good enough to get this one going. Um, and in the end, I don't know if it's a matter of good enough. I think it's just just stubborn enough to spend enough time that you know sometimes even the obvious sort of has to, to the, even to the worst tech, you know, has to be resolved and sorted out. But uh, anyway, um, yeah. But I won't. Yes, on this antenna, I won't transmit. Um, I could go back to the guys on the net here, but um, I just don't know if that would be wise. Um, with the uh, SWR, it's going to be uh, it's going to fold back quite a bit. And, and just the explanation of fold back for those that may not know. Uh, protection system in the radio so that um, when you're outputting full power um, into uh, the antenna the antenna uh, sensing circuit actually says um, hey that SWR you know two and a half to one three to one it doesn't mean, you know mean it's infinity but it's high enough that the radio starts to by percentage fold back the power so it only allows uh, a percentage of the power to come out so that you're sort of semi protecting the output stage uh, we're not semi, you are protecting it. It's, it's certainly helpful um, if you were to go to full carrier and sit there for, you know, 30, 30 seconds. You know, it may be enough to set one of these uh, sets of outputs uh, into thermal runaway and uh, and gone. So, uh, yeah, that's the deal. Anyway, um, uh, my mate who owns this, <laughs> uh, you'll, I'm sure you'll see this video, but... Um, yeah, I hate this radio. <laughs> no, that's not true. No, no, I don't hate it. But yeah, it has been an interesting one, um, I've got to say. And um, and I'm just sort of running a bit short of time at the moment with me mate jobs and that. I, uh, I've i got a fair bit on trying to get um, the museum display going. And, and, you know, as you've seen from some of the pictures lately, radio's everywhere. Um, and, I mean, let me just show you what I've got to clear. Look, I don't mind because this has got to sort out... Um, this, this room here has all got to get over to the, um, and you've seen this picture before, so I'm not going to, but what I wanted to take you through to, so we've got empty glass cases. This is supposed to have all my cars and bits in it, but I mean, even with the walkways at the moment, um, these have got to go across uh, probably tomorrow. Um, these are all the 101s uh, that we've got, and there's four 101s with all the lineup bits and pieces, 101Es, 101Bs, um, uh, 101 E's, etc., and uh, so, yeah, it's it's just, oh, and unit in 2020 lineup, we've got about three of those here, so we need to clean out some of those. Um, and uh, oh, FT7s, FT7Bs, all the transverters, speakers, etc. Yeah, you've got the, actually, I think the transverters are over here. I think there's four transverters we've got. Yeah, yeah, so there you go. All right, um, back to the room. Okay, so back to the radio and good old Tom's talking away here. Good receiver on the 707s. I know why my mate wanted to fix this because, you know, look, I could have taken these way out. I've got three or four of them lying around. I could have just said, look, can you save me the pain? Can I just send you another one, you know, and we work out a price? But I know, I, I know, you know, if you've had a radio for years and it's part of your life and part of uh, your past, it is good to sort of try and get that going. So in this case, we've been lucky enough to, to sort it, but... Um, um, yes, I, I won't even go into how I sorted it. There was a couple of bits of skullduggery that, um, um, let's just say I might have had a wrecked one that uh, made my life a little bit easier in the end because I was scratching my head on a couple of things. So to those techs out there that sometimes uh, think, my God, how did he get that going? Just remember, sometimes we do steal spares out of other radios. <laughs> it's, um, I'd love to tell you that it's always component level. Uh, this was a mixture of both. This had a a couple of problems um one that needed a board replacement it was just easier to do that i had and one was um on uh, on board fault so anyway um but um so i don't want to get too much credit for these sort of repairs because quite seriously um we are into constructive laziness you know wherever we can be and uh, that's the key especially me look i you know what i've just come good today uh no that's not true sorry i had a good day yesterday sorry um Sunday, Monday, uh, absolutely. Uh, let's go back. Saturday, trip up to Wagga, picked up the uh, Terminator 2 thing. Fantastic day. Crashed and burned Sunday, Monday. Absolutely just was as sick as a dog. And uh, kidneys giving me trouble again. Uh, and, yeah, yesterday got up at uh, 7.30 in the morning and got going. Today was a slow start. Sorry, that's probably more the honest truth. Um, it was definitely probably midday before I really got moving. So for those of you chasing me, sometimes I know it can be hard to get me. This illness stuff is really, you know, it's annoying me. But um, look, just hang in there. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll get there. It's uh, 
just a matter of um, too much on at the moment and trying to get it all done. But um, I'll always try and help my mates where I can. You know, that's the deal. And um, that's that's what we're sort of on the planet for. 73 is all the best. 1707 looks like she's all back to life. So uh, hopefully uh, it can give a few more years of service. Cheers.